just thank you for that testimony and song. And we encourage you uh, to call in this morning at 859-236-9332 or 859-236-9333 and make a pledge to keep Christian Radio alive here in the Lowell County and the surrounding counties. And again, we're just thankful for the testimony uh, of this radio station here yeah. at this time. At this time, uh, Brother Travis, our pastor, is going to come and share a time of devotion with us this morning. And uh, so we just thank you, Brother Travis. Amen. Miss Drake, are we okay to proceed? Yes, and let me remind you, we have a $100 match out. Okay. And uh, when it's matched, we'll tell you who put it up. All right. Uh, well, I am thankful to be here this morning. And I was always told I had a face for radio. <laughs> Now I look over and there's a camera there, so that's that kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, but uh, but I do have uh, just a short passage and a few thoughts upon my heart that I want to write upon your heart this morning. A very familiar passage of scripture, but one that is timeless. It comes from the tenth chapter of the book of Romans, and uh, the apostle Paul is going to reach way back uh, into the prophet Isaiah and share some things with us. This is what he says, uh, Romans 10, verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful uh, are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good news. Uh, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah that saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have you not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went out into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. And uh, just a couple of thoughts that I want to put upon your heart today. Uh, very familiar passage. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. There, there's two things that's implied there. Uh, I don't know if you know that there's a difference or not, but there's a difference in hearing and listening. Hearing is involuntary. You either have that ability or not. Listening is what's implied. Uh, those who are deaf who physically cannot hear, that's not what this is talking about, a physical hearing. It's talking about a physical listening. But all can understand through whatever language that comes. It does not have to be by the uh, physical ear. But it is talking about faith coming by hearing. That is a listening, an understanding, a comprehending. Uh, many times we uh, are told in the Gospel records that Lord Jesus spoke to multitudes. And you know, in the day in which we live, I'm holding a microphone in my hand. Uh, this is not a large room. Uh, probably there would be no problem hearing me without a microphone this morning, uh, except for on the radio, but those in this room would have no problem to hear me. But we're told that the Lord Jesus spoke to multitudes, and they heard. Isn't that interesting? And uh, I think there's something there. I mean, in a day of technology, we think that's no great deal, that we can speak to thousands and thousands of people, and they'll just hear us. And that's the first thing. There is a hearing, but then there is a listening. And uh, when you begin to study some of the areas that the Lord Jesus ministered to, and I find this fascinating, at the northeastern uh, area of the Sea of Galilee and other places in Israel, but this particular place, there is um, a natural amphitheater. And the Lord Jesus could stand and all the people be spread out. He could speak just as I'm speaking, and His voice would carry so that they could hear Him. Now, I just think that's fascinating how He could speak to those multitudes. No microphone, no PA system, no electric. Uh, and they could all hear what Jesus was saying. But how often did the Lord Jesus say this? He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Hearing, they did hear. Those who had the physical ability to hear. There was no problem in that location for them to hear. But what the Lord Jesus was talking about was physically listening. Listening. 
And uh, there's folks in churches every, every Sunday that hear the Gospel, but they don't necessarily listen to the Gospel. Well, why is that important? Well, I don't know if you know who this fellow is or not, Miss Drake. Uh, I might introduce this fellow to you if you don't know him. His name is David Sarnoff. Uh, David Sarnoff, you may not know, but he is uh, very important to you, especially those listening right now. David Sarnoff was the founder of NBC, but he was also a leading executive in another company that you probably know of called RCA. And uh, David Sarnoff, in the day in which he lived, revolutionized what we understand now to be radio. David Sarnoff's day uh, had radio went from one point to another. It was specifically uh, a radio between me and my brother, and we would be able to listen that way. But David Sarnoff had a revolutionary idea that he would be able to stand in one spot and broadcast and people everywhere be able to hear. Isn't that interesting? Uh, the day in which we live now, we think nothing about that. But David Sarnoff had this wild idea that one person could speak and everyone could hear. The only problem was finding some investors who would follow along with him. This is what they said uh, when he began to ask for investments. Uh, this was their response. The wireless music box, that's your radio, has no imaginable commercial value. Isn't that funny? Who would pay for a message sent to nobody in particular? Now, we have today radio. And radio can be sent from right here in Parksville, WDFB. Not to any particular person that's on my mind right now, but all can hear. Is there any value in WDFB? Well, sure there is. We're sending out the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Well, we have now the means of hearing. The gospel's being broadcasted, but there's another thing. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. We're able to hear as far as a physical, but there must be some listening, some comprehending, some understanding. Sarnoff uh, come up with something called the Sarnoff's Law. And I want to share that with you as I close this morning. This is what it says. The value of a broadcast network is proportional to the number of the viewers or listeners. And so today, if you are a listener of WDFB Radio, the value of this station is only proportional to how much you're willing to to support it. And so we want to give you that encouragement. We are hearing uh, the gospel being spread, but now it's time to listen. It's time to participate. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And it is a time of sharing, and that sharing is of the gospel. And uh, I hope maybe there's those who might listen today, more so than only contributing financially, would contribute prayerfully to the needs of this radio station. As I've had opportunities to uh, uh, share in family altar and the different events, uh, there's long hours. There's not a, a definite punch in, punch out time here, but they are uh, sacrificially serving to broadcast the gospel. So we invite you to co-labor, and uh, only heaven will tell us uh, what impact we've had in uh, projecting and uh, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. But let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Father, I'm thankful this morning, Lord, that we have the privilege to stand in this one spot and broad the gospel, broadcast the gospel all over the world. Father, not only in this area, uh, through radio waves, but Father, throughout the world, through the internet. And Father, we pray uh, a promise that you've given us in Isaiah 55, 11, that uh, your word will not return unto you void. And so, Father, we're thankful that we live in an age where we can broadcast the gospel but, Father, may it not only be heard as an involuntary hearing, but, Father, may they listen, and may they be convicted and drawn by the Holy Spirit, that we may share the gospel not only in Jerusalem and Judea, Samaria, but to the uttermost parts of the earth. Thank you, Father, that we live in an area that still has Christian radio, that we can come together and call on and pray together. And we'll thank you and praise you in Jesus' name.
Amen.